the 2008 roast of Bob is one of the all-time greats. I mean, yes. it is a moment and a lot of people were like, whoa, what is happening? I Googled Bob Saget and it came back, why? <laughs> we were like, okay, here you go, this is gonna be fun, here we go. And for a lot of people, it was a revelation because that was, you're still, you're still basking in the glory of Full House. Yeah, and I remember they asked them, but they, they said no to it. They wanted at the end for the Olsen twins to come out and both give him the finger. And and that's another funny thing, because he he was like their father. Uh, he was very protective of the Olsen twins because he, he knew them since they were babies and he was with them every day for years. So he he saw himself as their father. So as they got older and they were going through all their craziness and the paparazzi's following them around, he still felt a sense of responsibility? Uh, yeah, yeah, he was, he was, he cared about them. That's amazing. But that tells you who he is. That tells you right there that he, yeah. that he would do that. I'm a little tired. Maybe I'll take a nap. Okay. <laughs> what are you doing? Waiting for my hug. I thought that's what you do in this house when you leave a room. How would you explain who Bob was in the stand-up comedic world? What did he mean to comedians? It was funny. It's like when the film The Aristocrats came out, there were people saying, oh, God, could you believe Bob Saget was so sick and so filthy? And no one who knew him was the least bit surprised. In fact, when the people who knew him, Full House was uh, something they'd laugh at because it's like they'd say, no, he's not this uh, wholesome uh, <laughs> guy. And it's like whenever I would talk to him, it's like the conversation, if the conversation ever got in any way serious or sincere, uh, both of us would turn it, you know, filthy and perverted. And how, that's how the way you, we felt comfortable. Bob was one of those guys that you believed was going to be around forever. It just doesn't yeah. make sense. Everybody has a great Bob Saget story. Do you have a great Bob story or a moment you you cherish or remember the most? I remember at, at the screening for the Aristocrats, the uh, premiere, I was walking down the aisle and I ran into him and he looked at me and smiled and said, I have to hold you. <laughs> and I always kind of remembered that. I just remember so many of those funny moments like that. What do you think Bob's legacy is? Well, he'll be remembered for all the people who watched him over the years. Yeah. Uh, Full yeah. House and funniest videos. And the people who knew him will remember him as, you know, a great guy, really funny, really quick. And it was always uh, fun, you know, like I did his podcast, he did mine. And it was always fun and always outrageous and just easy.